In this video, we're going to be looking at installation and wiring of the DC combiner box. The DC combiner box is an optional accessory which is only required if wiring LG Prime batteries or three of the Solar Edge home batteries. So to start with, mount the bracket, fix it to the wall with appropriate fixings to support the weight of the combiner. Fix the combiner to the bracket using the provided screws. Then you need to remove the cover I remove the glands to be able to bring the DC conduit and cables in. As you'll see, the combiner has two battery terminals, two input terminals for the PV DC, and one output going back to the inverter. The inputs allow provision for either a 25mm or 32mm conduit entry. So simply fix in place the associated conduit. You'll see inside the DC combiner that there are two earth terminal bars. These have been joined together. So you can use the earth supplied from the battery, as well as the earth coming from the PV, and then out from that back to the inverter. Ensure that all DC connections, whether battery or PV, use bootlace ferrules. This will ensure good continuity of connection So to start with, we're now going to bring the battery DC into the first terminal block. This could either be for one or two solar edge home batteries. If the third solar edge home battery is be used, we'd use that second terminal block. The DC combiner has the provision to take inputs from three solar edge home batteries. Two of them need to connect together via the Y branch connector and the second directly into the combiner. The combiner is also used for LG Prime batteries. Once the battery connections have been made, it's now time to bring the PV DC in. So just as we did with the batteries, connect the earth and then connect either one or two array cables. Once these have been installed, we can then connect the earth and the positive and negative DC connections running back to the inverter.
As the batteries will have a communications cable, that's whether it's the LG Prime or the Solar Edge Home batteries, this can be provided through the same DC conduit as the DC, which can then just loop straight through the DC combiner, back out through the connection running to the inverter. Then replace the cover, and that completes the wiring of the DC combiner.